Do you know Spanish but feel like this anytime that you listen to native speakers having a conversation in that language? Huh? Don't worry, we've got your back. We all know that Spanish is amazing, but oftentimes it can be quite challenging for non-native speakers due to the complexity and richness of the language itself. So how can you improve your comprehension without going crazy? Let's not forget that English and Spanish come from different language families. Therefore, most nouns and grammar constructions will be way different from the ones that you can find in English or basically any other language that comes from the Germanic family. The trick here is to start understanding that difference and avoid translating everything to English, since that would cause basically your brain to overwork by trying to understand two different structures at the same time. If you start exposing yourself to spoken Spanish, you'll start developing new connections that will allow you to improve your comprehension of that language. So let me share some useful tips and tricks so that you can really start creating those connections and start improving your comprehension in Spanish. Number one, understanding spoken Spanish can be challenging for learners. Just think about Latin America, it's a huge territory and most of its inhabitants speak Spanish. So just imagine the amount of differences in terms of accents that you can find there. So you can do something as simple as watching a movie in Spanish and adding some English subtitles if you're a beginner or if you want to challenge yourself a bit more, adding those subtitles in Spanish. Another pro tip is watching a movie or TV series that you've already watched in the past and change the audio to Spanish. If you already know the story or even some of the dialogues, this can be pretty useful and can help you really understand how Spanish works while watching something that you already like. Number two, Spanish speakers talk real fast and they don't announce sounds. If you've ever been to a Spanish-speaking country, you might already know that us native Spanish speakers talk real fast. And well, if you're not accustomed to the pace of the language, it can be quite challenging to understand what we're saying, basically because we don't articulate sounds separately. A very nice way of tackling this challenge is to get used to the sounds of the language so that you can improve your comprehension. You can play some music in Spanish and read the lyrics as you're listening to that song, or maybe you can even watch a YouTube video and slow it down a bit so you can really get an idea of how Spanish sound in a slower way. Number three, some Spanish learners struggle with active listening. It's really important to remember that active listening is essential to improving Spanish comprehension, and it implies listening to something and taking action based on it. You could do it by trying to predict the next word in a sentence, or even predict the dialogues whenever you're watching some sort of media in Spanish. Try to actively participate in Spanish conversations by listening for keywords, intonation patterns, and overall meaning. You can also try repeating some phrases or words in real time so that Spanish becomes more familiar to you. Number four, exposure to basic and slowly spoken Spanish is crucial to improve your comprehension. One thing that is super useful is to look for videos in Spanish that match your proficiency level and relate to your interests. If you're a beginner, it's perfectly fine to start watching cartoons in Spanish. Yes, even if you're an adult. Remember that in the learning process, there's no room for shame. This simple practice will help you increase both your comprehension and vocabulary. So go ahead, make yourself a big bowl of popcorn and enjoy as you learn. Number five, some Spanish learners feel hesitant about starting a conversation with a Spanish native speaker. Engaging in conversations with native Spanish speakers can really improve your comprehension in real-life situations. You can try this by joining conversation clubs, initiating conversations with a Spanish speaker that you know, or if you're taking Spanish lessons, trying to use as much Spanish as you can. This will improve your comprehension significantly, and little by little, you'll start losing the fear of communicating in that language. So, you may think that native Spanish speakers understand every single one of the different accents and regional pronunciations that there are in Spanish, just because, well, they're native speakers, right? Let me tell you that 
it's not always the case. For example, there are some places in Mexico where they aspirate the letter S by saying, for instance, Tabasco instead of Tabasco or Vamono Pue instead of Vamonos Pues, which translates to let's go then. And in some other places in Latin America, people usually say Proba la comida instead of Prueba la comida, which could be translated as try your food. Or they can also say things like Vos podes instead of Tu puedes, which means you can. And also, there's a situation with the Spanish that people use in Spain. Sometimes even us, Latin American, native Spanish-speaking people struggle with the comprehension because of the regional differences and sometimes we need to add subtitles to some TV series, for example. And well, I guess that happens to them as well with the Latin American regional pronunciations and different words that we use. Time for a quiz! I'll mention some phrases and you have to pick the right answer. Number one, to improve your comprehension in Spanish, A. You need to start watching movies that have a complex vocabulary with no subtitles on. B. You can start looking for music in Spanish and read the lyrics as you listen. C. You need to start using a translator whenever you have a conversation in Spanish. Number two. You can improve your active listening by A. Paying attention to keywords, intonation patterns, and overall meaning B. Remaining silent in the middle of a conversation C. Asking for translations as much as you can Number 3. You can get used to the sounds in Spanish by A. Watching movies in English and adding Spanish subtitles B. Diving deep into Spanish media C. Reading scientific papers in Spanish out loud. Let us know in the comment section below if you got the answers right. If you really liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Here at Spanish 55, we have an amazing team of teachers who can really help you improve both your comprehension and your vocabulary so that you can become fluent in Spanish. We all know that Spanish can be challenging from time to time, but we have teachers who are native Spanish speakers and are certified to help you in that learning process. So let's summarize some of the things that we talked about today. Remember that it's really important that you get used to the sounds in Spanish so you can have a better comprehension when you want to start speaking in Spanish or having a conversation with a native Spanish speaker. Remember that you can really improve your comprehension by diving deep into media in Spanish. So you can watch some movies that you already know in Spanish, you can watch a TV series, you can even listen to a podcast or listen to music in Spanish. So in that way, your brain will get used to the sound of the language and you'll become more familiar with it. I really hope that this video was useful and that you can start applying these tips and tricks that I shared with you today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and also share this with a family member or friend if you think that it's going to be useful for them. Remember that learning a new language is not for the faint of heart. So if you're struggling as a Spanish learner, don't give up. Just continue applying these tips and tricks so that you can improve your comprehension and you'll see. In just a few months, you'll improve a lot. So that was basically it for today, guys. I hope that you have a great, great day. My name is Mariana with Spanish Five, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.